Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. In today's video, we will be going to Balenciaga. So we all know that I love my Balenciaga Hourglass bag. Now this is in the size small, and I do have a video on it and what fits inside. Both will be up on screen and in the description below. But it is so exciting because Balenciaga, we finally have one in the state that I am in. So I was invited to go by my beautiful essay. We had champagne. We looked at a bunch of hourglass bags and crush bags and it was so fun. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Okay, so now we are going to Balenciaga and Balenciaga is so amazing, so underrated. And regardless, I will always love them. Starting right away, we are looking at the crush bags. And now we have the large and then we have the medium size. And the large is so cute so big as you can see the leather material is very much like cracky but it's meant to be like that but then the inside of these bags are so functional as you see there's so many pockets so much interior space in it this is what makes me really really want the bag because i would use this so so much it does have the famous b on it as well and i really do love it especially for the big size and then we have the medium size and it is the same inside we have all of the same materials and the same pockets we have three of the cute little flap things right here and then we do have two in the back one giant opening in the front and again, so much space and you could really utilize this bag in so many ways. I think it's so cool. Trying it on, I really, really did love the medium size on me. Now this does look like the perfect size because it doesn't look too big. It doesn't look too small. So this is really cool. You can even adjust the length of it, like the Chanel maxi flaps, how you can just drop it down like that. So cute. I really do love it. Now this specific one is in the cream color and the cream color, I would never really picture myself with it, but it actually really was cute. And then comparing it to the large size, you can see definitely a big difference. It now looks like a travel bag on my frame. However, this one really, really is great because you could really use this all day and put so much in this. So the things you could do with this bag is so cool. Again, you know, the chain does drop and you can wear it in so many different ways. This one does have like a crocodile finish of it. Now I do have to say my essay actually brought me a crocodile version. So the one I'm trying on here isn't the pebbles version, but it is in the crocodile emboss. And then she also brought me this denim one and the denim one, I'm not gonna lie, I will 100% get it but you have to look really closely and the stitching of it is in yellow. And I don't know why they stitched it in yellow because if it was all in just the blue denim, I would totally get it. But when you see it in person, it has like yellow lines all over it. So that really did take away from the bag. But this one, I, I'm not gonna lie, I love the denim crush bag. And if they do make another version of it, I may totally get it. She then brought out the Crystal Nano City bag, I believe it's called. I will have it up on screen. Now this one, the way it glistens and glams, it is so, so cool and so beautiful. I love this one so much, but this is $5,000. And for $5,000, I definitely need a bigger handbag. At this point, my essay brought me champagne. So I was chatting with her for quite a few minutes and we were just chatting, having champagne. She is so great. I love the Balenciaga here. However, she also did bring me the crocodile embossed hourglass bag in the size medium. So as you see, it's so cute. And this really is the perfect size for the hourglass bags because the back pocket will fit your phone. You can fit your phone, sunglasses, and a water bottle in this bag. And it's so underrated and the hourglass bags are 100% approved by me. Next, we have this beautiful wall and we can see the beautiful blue crystal hourglass bag. Absolutely so, so stunning. And then we even have more of the crystal bag up top. Now this is the bigger version. And now this is the one that should be $5,000 if anything. However, I think this, this may retail for 5,000 or it might even be 7,000. I'm not entirely sure. But again, my essay actually made a travel down to Saks Fifth Avenue and she brought me the crystal one in pink. And the pink one was hands down so beautiful. I loved this one. If it was not 5,000, I actually would have gotten this right then and there. At first I thought she said 500 and I was like, okay, done, sold, I'll take it. But then it was like 5,000. I was like, oh, for this small bag, like I said, I'll need the bigger one. I do plan on coming back and trying on what I call the witch outfit because when you hang it up, the shoes are attached to it. So it just dangles like that. 
And I just think it's so funny. However, you know, it's so cute. And I am going to come back and try this on because it is, you know, very unique. For their dresses, this pink dress was so beautiful. I love the ruching on it. It is so glamorous. And to be honest, I will try this on too. I do plan on coming back and I'm going to try this dress on because why not? It's so cute. Now we're at Louis Vuitton. I did grab my Keep All 55 because I want to compare it to the 45. And this one right here is my 55. As you can see, it just looks so big on me. And I think it looks like a size 60. And when I go to the airport, I feel like they're going to give me a hard time about it and tell me that I have to like check it under the plane, which I will absolutely never do. And I, I'd rather cancel my flight than have this roll around on the floor. Here you see they do have the 45 in stock. And right away, you can see the 45 is so much smaller than the 55. I mean, this is like an everyday going away for like one day bag and not like an entire weekend trip. Even putting them side by side, you can see such a major difference. So because of that, the 55 is definitely better for travel. But for the comparison, you can see sometimes it looks like it's bigger, but in person, it really is smaller. And you could only fit like one pair of shoes in here and they'd have to go the long way, not side by side. So that would not be really, really great to travel with. But I am not going to lie, I am going to get the 45 just because I do want it for like every day. It's really not much bigger than my Prada tote. So carrying this around as like an everyday bag would totally be passable, I think. And as you see, when you put the Chanel Trendy by the 45, you would have to crush the handle of the bag to actually get it in there. And the Chanel Trendy just won't fit in there. So you can't really put a bag in there. But as you can see here, you could totally get away with it. I did try it in the store. There's totally enough room for two handbags in there. None of the handles will get crushed when you sip it. So the 55 is definitely the one for traveling. I then went around and I did look at some items in the store. I looked at the cat carrier, but the cat carrier was actually too small for my cat. The one I have now hardly even works for her. And the Louis Vuitton one was actually smaller than my current one. So the cat carrier is totally a no-go. We do have some cute accessories and charms here. So that is really cute. I then seen this pink scarf and the pink scarf, I don't know why I didn't get it because it's so beautiful with the monograms. So I do want to come back for that. That's so cute. But I did see this pink hat as well. And the pink hat is so perfect because my mom loves hats, especially when they're pink. So the fact that it's like pink with the monogram, totally perfect for her so I definitely will be getting this that way she can have it for her birthday lastly in my last vlog you see that I did go to Chanel and I did compare my Chanel trendy to the cocoa handle and the classic jumbo flap so definitely check out that vlog if you want to see some details we also went to Alexander McQueen in Saks Fifth Avenue where we seen this gorgeous button up and this looks so cool very like harnessy but not a harness approved for every day daytime and I think this is a really cool shirt and then of course I've shown you in my last two vlogs that I did also to go to Saks Fifth Avenue. I tried on my dream pair of Louboutins. These are so beautiful for $3,000. I was going to get these, but they didn't fit, unfortunately. I, like I said, I tried the 41, I tried the 40. Unfortunately, they just didn't work for me. And that's such a bummer because these are so beautiful. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what was your favorite part of this vlog. And if you like Balenciaga and if there's anything you would like as well. And have a great day. Au revoir.